hello viewers welcome to the channel and another video on 3d exercise in this video you'll see how to model the 3d exercise 119 in the part draft sketcher and fastness workbench i hope you like this video if you're not subscribed please subscribe and now let's go to our video let's create a new document just click on this icon to create a new document and now let's go to our drawing page as you can see we have these two 3d views the session view and these views here We'll use these dimensions to create this part here. So the first thing that we'll do is to create a sketch in which we'll address a session of this view here. Let's do that. Go to FreeCut and first change workbench to Sketcher. Okay, and next click on this icon to create a sketch. Just click here. And we need to select Axi plane for this first sketch. And now we'll just click OK. And here what we'll do is to go to Sketcher Drums, these tools of sketch workbench and select polling tool and we'll use this tool to dress this sketch here without this 3d draw let's do that go to sketcher first click on this origin point and draw this flat line and next this line here this line and this line here Okay, and now let's select horizontal constraint and make a base line here horizontal and constraint these two points here horizontal. And now let's hide these constraints here and now we have this. The next thing to do is to set the dimensions of this sketch here. First we'll select horizontal distance tool and we'll set this chamfer here. As you can see we have one millimeters the size of this chamfer. So we'll select this point here and this point and set one. And now we go to these two points here and we set the dimension one millimeters and also here we can see this distance from this point to this point here so we'll select this point and this point here and set one okay and next we can select this point here and this point and size here as you can see is 20 okay and next we have 10 millimeters for for this line here let's select this point and this point here and set the distance 10 millimeters okay and for this line here we have 5 millimeters just click on this line and set 5 okay and we have this total dimension here 58 so for this horizontal line here we'll set this dimension minus 20 the length of this 3D root let's set 58 minus 20 and you get 38 millimeters now we have 9 degrees of freedom as you can see let's hide these all constraints double click here and zoom in next select vertical distance tool and now for this line here we'll set 8 millimeters as you can see here okay and next we set this this is here 24 we select origin point and now this point here and the distance here must be half of this dimension so we'll set 12 okay and now this point and this point here will set half of this dimension we'll set 13 okay and now escape and drag this point here in this way and select vertical distance tool again and now select these two points here and set one millimeters the dimension of this chamfer here okay next select this point and this origin point and the distance here must be the half of 19 so we'll set 19 divided by 2 and we get 9.5 okay now we select this point and the region point and the distance here must be 10 millimeters okay and now this line here will set the half of 16 will set 80 okay and next let's select constraint angle this icon here and we select this line and this line here and the angle as you can see is 85 degrees okay and now we have one degree of freedom 
okay what you need to do here is to select vertical distance tool and now these two points here and set one okay now i have the sketch full constrained escape two times and next we go to the part of bench just click here and select part of bench and what we'll do now is to create a revolution of the sketch here to do that we need to select the sketch and then click in revolve tool just click here and we need to set axis for this revolution so we go to duration and we need to set one for the x duration let's set one here and here need to be zero and now just click ok and as you can see now we have this first salt here the next thing to do is to create a fillet in these two edges here like as you can see here resolve 0 0.25 so we need to select this edge and now control this edge here and now select fillet tool and change the radius to 0 0.25 and enter now I have this i don't like this green edge here so to change this i select this part and control d and i go to line color and i change this to black color and okay now close this and as you can see now i have these black edges okay the next thing to do is to create this 3d dirt here to do that we'll use the fastness workbench so here in the workbench selector we need to select fastness workbench okay and we can use 3d dirt magic 3d dirt just click in this icon and as you can see we have a new part in the 3d view and 3d view so now let's change the parameters of this 3d root here let's select this object and now just resize this and go to the diameter as you can see here we have m16 the reference so we'll change here the diameter to m16 okay select this option and next we need to change length of this 3d root as you can see we have 20 here so we don't need to change this and next we have to place this 3d root here in this face to do that we can select this 3d root and now control select this circular edge and then use this tool here just click on this icon and as you can see now have this 3d root here but we need to reverse the duration so to do that just click on this icon and now we have this as you can see now we need to make the tree visible to do that we need to select this object and then go to treat just click here and set true okay and now we have this as you can see but if we change to the front view and zoom in as you can see we have we have a reference from this drawing page here we can fix this space here changing the offset of this part here we need to select this part, this reduced root, and go to offset. For example, if we change here to minus one and enter, what you see here is this space here. And let's add, for example, two millimeters. Let's add 1.45 millimeters. And uh, I think it's okay, but we need to change the length here because we created this offset here. So here in the length will set 20 plus this offset here 1.45 millimeters and enter okay and the length of this 3d root will be 20 millimeters okay now we have this the next thing to do is to move to the part workbench okay and next create a union of these two parts here just select these two parts and now a union tool okay now that we have this the next thing to do is to create this neural surface here so the first thing that we'll do is to create a sketch in which we'll draw a profile okay let's do that move to the sketch workbench rotate this model zoom in and select this face here and then create a sketch plain face no problem just click ok okay and next we'll use polline tool to create this sketch here we'll draw a triangle okay draw this horizontal line in this way and now just click in this vertical axis and now connecting this point here and next you use perpendicular constraint to constrain these two lines here here we have angle of 90 degrees 90 degrees okay next let's select equal constraint and make these two lines equal 
and now select horizontal distance tool for this line here we can set two millimeters no problem the next thing to do is to set this distance here 0 0.25 millimeters but first we need to extract this edge here select external jump tool and extract this edge and next use this tool here point tool and create a point here and uh, let's use this constraint here to constrain this point and this vertical axis okay and now we can set the distance between this point to this point here select vertical distance tool and now these two points and the distance here is 0 0.25 millimeters now we have this this sketch is full constrained as you can see escape two times to leave this sketch and now we have a profile and the next thing to do is to create a helix here using primitives okay okay and now we move to the hard rock bench okay to create a salt using this sketch here what you'll do is to use this tool here sweep tool but first you need to create a path for this profile here so to do that we'll click here and create primitives and from this drop down we'll select helix tool just click here and the next thing to do is to change these parameters here like the pitch here will be 150 okay and height will be uh, we'll set 18 as you can see here we have this jump for so we'll set 18 here and the ridge here we'll set we'll set a formula we'll set 26 we'll set 26 minus 0 0.25 two times and divided by 2 okay and now scroll down here here in the rotation axis don't change anything because this doesn't take effort okay so scroll up and create this helix and now close this and as you can see the rotation axis of this helix is is not what we want so we need to change the rotation axis to do that first we can hide this part here spacebar and then select this helix ring click on us and select transform tool as you can see we have the region of this helix here okay so now let's try to let's rotate this helix nine degrees in this way okay and just click ok and now let's make this part visible spacebar and we have this okay now if we zoom in we can see that we have this helix here okay the next thing to do is to create a part using these two objects here so we need to click here in this tool and select this let's sketch here and then check these two options create salt and frame it and now just hide this part here and select this helix and then click ok and now as you can see we have this part here okay now just click in this arrow and hide these two objects and let's make this vision visible space bar and we have this as you can see okay now that we have this part here the next thing to do is to move to the draft or bench and here we'll select this sweep operation and now just click here and select polar array reset points and now just click ok okay and now as you can see here we have this array but in the wrong axis we need this array in the x axis to change the axis here we need to select this array and scroll down go to axis and scroll down again and we need to set one for the x-axis and here needs to be zero okay and now as you can see we have this and the next thing to do here is to change the number polar to 30 this occurrence here let's set 30 and enter and now as you can see we have this next let's move back to the part for bench and now what we'll do is to subtract this array from this fusion select this fusion and now this array and now control this array and now cut to and as you can see now we have this so the next thing that we'll do is to go to this cut and array 
disappear and create a copy of this helix control c and control v and now what you do we select this helix space bar to make this visible and now we hide this part here and what you need to do with this helix is to change the coordinate system to left-handed set left-handed here and it's okay and next we use sweep tool select this last sketch and check these two options and next select this helix and okay and now we have this part now we go to this sweep here and we need to hide this helix and again what we'll do is to create a polar array of this sweep operation so we need to change the workbench to the draft workbench and then select sweep and polar array and we click ok and we scroll down and we change the axis to x ok and we increase the number polar to 30 ok and now we have this we go back to the part of bench and now we make this cut visible space bar and next we select this cut and now control this array and now we select cut two and now as you can see we have this so we finish the design of this model thank you for watching this video if you found this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends thank you i hope to see you in the next video